Good morning. <laughs> Welcome back to Tina's Talk Time. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't been on as much as I should do, but I'm still not feeling 100% well. Um, much, much better, but exhausted. And I, I'm sure lots of you out there have had COVID and probably have suffered from the same symptom, but it's quite exhausting. And sadly, my brother, his wife and his children and grandchildren have all caught it. Uh, not from me because I've not been in contact with them, um, but they're all suffering at the moment too. So, um, so that's a bit of a blow. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, I just want to pop on, and I've got a few things to show you. Um, yesterday, I got a too good to go bag. Um, I don't know. I did tell. I, I've mentioned it before. Uh, too good to go is an app, and you can just go on it any day and like restaurants and stores in your area you put your postcode in restaurants and stores in your area um at the end of the day they, they they make up bags you know for which you can purchase online you you buy them through the two got to go app and pick them up the next day um and i managed to get a morrison's bag it's a bit hit and miss whether you want the things or not but i do get one now and again if i see that there is one anyway i did get one yesterday so I'll show you what's in it. Um, you know, the £3.9p, so it's good value, really. You could end up with, like, loads and loads of the same things. Sometimes that happens, you know. But usually, they're very good value. So I'll show you that in a minute. And then I've got a couple of things that, obviously, I've not been shopping, but I did get a couple of things that I've ordered online um, whilst I was bedridden. <laughs> I wasn't really bedridden, but while I was ill. <laughs> a funny thing about my bed actually because I, I mean I did change it while I was ill I'm not that bad but uh, I thought the other day I thought oh I feel a bit better I'm going to change all my bed and um, but because I get so tired I thought I'll do it in two stages so I took all the bedding off and put it in the washer put a clean sheet and the pillowcases on and I thought well what I'll do is I'll put the quilt cover on afterwards because I'll get too exhausted if I do it all at once so I put the uh, so I put the quilt over the banister to air. Anyway, I came downstairs and Mabel and Betsy had been out and in the garden, which is quite muddy at the moment. So anyway, when they came in, I cleaned all the pores and everything. But Mabel flew upstairs and jumped all over my bed. Um, and although I cleaned her pores, it makes me realise how dirty my carpets must get from her because there was muddy footprints all over the clean sheet. So I thought, well, I'm going to leave that on all day and change it before I go to bed in case she runs up again. So I did have to do it all at once later on. But <laughs> anyway, the joys of having puppies. <laughs> well, she's not a puppy really now. She's nearly two. She's two in June. She's adorable though. <laughs> Anyway, so that's my little story of that. So um, she's here now, aren't you, Mabel? So, and the other thing I've got, if I've got time, is I've got a few empties that I'll go through because I want to put them in the recycling. Don't you get a lot of recycling? It makes you realise how bad it must be for the planet. It's awful. Um, I mean, my cardboard recycling, mind you, we have ordered a lot online lately. And Amazon tend to send you a very small thing in a massive box, you know. Well, I think a lot of companies do that. Anyway, um, there was so much cardboard yesterday, I couldn't believe it. But they do only empty it about once a month, which is annoying, you know. So, anyway, um, I'll, I'll stop this now and just show you the um, Too Good To Go bag. Right, I just have to tell you, I've just been through all through this Too Good To Go bag filmed it all or so I thought um it wasn't filming so I'm gonna have to do it again there's no wonder it takes me ages to do these videos right um well I won't put it back in the bag but that's the bag that it comes in you just pick it up from customer service and you just swipe your phone so first of all I've got some parsley well it's growing parsley so that'll be all right um I can just put that on the windowsill oh I've got soil all over my kitchen doing it now um, some coriander, I'll find a use for that. Some curly parsley, I'll have to make a load of parsley sauce. Oh, when I was um, young, that was my favourite. When I used to go to my nana's every Wednesday for my dinner, 
and she always used to make she you know like they used to make the same thing every day didn't they in those days and she always used to make fish and parsley sauce uh, there was like a fishmongers and greengrocers at the end of where she lived and every day she used to go and get every Wednesday she'd go and get this fresh fish and um, she'd make oh it was lovely lovely parsley sauce mashed potato and processed peas it was my favorite meal I still like it but unfortunately my family don't like they, they don't like fish and parsley sauce I love it so I might make some so where have I got up to with that so then there was a bit of a wilted looking lettuce I might use that and I might not <laughs> Um, some coriander, I'll find a use for that. Um, what's this? Oh, Italian style salad. And also a spinach and rocket. So I might mix those with it, make a salad of, of them both. Put some tomatoes and cucumber in, you know. Um, a pack of hot cross buns, which I'm sure my son will love. A pack of tortillas. I didn't think I might try and make a pizza of some sort from, I mean, it might turn out rubbish, but I, I'm going to have a go um, to use these up. I'll try and make some sort of pizza with them. I don't know if it'll work out. If it does, I'll show it you. Um, then some passion fruit. Now, I think the best thing for passion fruit is to put them in porn star martinis, <laughs> but unfortunately, I won't be doing that. So what I did think is, because also there is two packs of ginger. So I thought I might try and make, I've got some chicken fillets. So I thought I might try and make um, some sort of ginger and passion fruit sauce with it. Um, you know, perhaps with a bit of soy sauce. Um, see what, how it turns out. Um, but I was reading on the internet, because there's two packs of ginger, how, how best to store ginger. And it said... Just freeze it in the skin. Don't do anything with it. Just put it in a freezer bag in the skin and then just grate it as, take a piece out when you want to use it and just grate it and then put it back in the freezer. So I didn't know you could do that. So I'm going to give that a go. Um, and then the other thing I got was this. It's wheat, berries. I don't know what a wheat berry is, but it's wheat, berries, beans and greens. So I thought... Um, that I could have that with the chicken tonight. So see how it goes anyway. So that is my two good to go bag. So for three pound and nine P, it is worth it. But as I say, it's a bit hit and miss. Um, right, I'll get on to my other things. I'll just stop this and start again in a minute. <laughs> right, I'm back. Is it videoing? Yes, it's videoing. Um, I've just had to mop the kitchen floor because Mabel is the messiest drinker ever she had some a drink of water she's trotting in now she had a drink of water and she's got this habit i don't know that other people's cockapoos do this but she's got this habit of dunking her head in the water bowl yes you and um she dunked her head in the water bowl and got water all over the kitchen floor you're not coming up i'm sat near the treat cupboard so she's they think they're going to get a treat Right, I'll just show you a couple of the things that I've bought, um, mainly online. It's not a lot. Um, I needed some new <coughs> to me, reading glasses. I'm always breaking them. Anyway, I got these from Amazon. There's six pairs, all different colours. And they were um, about £18 for the six pairs. So I thought that was really good. I'm always breaking them. I'm really careless with them. That's why I wouldn't spend a lot on them. I think it's because, look, they're all right, aren't they? All different colours. I think it's because I keep putting them on my head and things like that. So, for six, it's just like three pounds a pair. You know, I know you can get them from the pound shop, but when I go in, I can never get, um, you know, the strength I want. And also, you know, I haven't been to a pound shop. I've not been out really. So I've not been to a pound shop for ages. Um, right, this is something I got a while ago, um, but I think they've probably still got them in. It's from Home Bargains. Isn't it nice? It was only £1.50. I thought that was really pretty to hang up for Easter. You see, I'm starting Easter now. I'll be out looking for Easter things. No, actually, I've got a box that I added some stuff in from last year. 
Now, the other thing that I bought, I did actually order a couple of tops from Evans, um, but when they came, well, one, I tried on and it, I thought it looked lovely from the front, but when I turned sideways, it was like ruched at the front, plain, you know, with a V-neck. But when I turned sideways, oh my goodness, the rolls are fat, you could see. So that went back. And then there was another one that I really liked, which I may reorder, um, but it was £38. And it came, when it came, like two days ago, I don't know why I looked online to return the other one and they've reduced it to £19. So I thought, oh, I'm not paying £38 for it. So that's going back as well. You know, I may reorder it. I'm not sure because I like the top, but it's got really those sleeves that hang down and they just get in the way all the time. Um, what else did... Oh, and then I had a trauma because they came to pick it up and my printer wasn't working properly. <clears throat> so it's like... It's quite faint, but you can see it, and it wouldn't scan. It wouldn't, they couldn't scan it, so I've had to order more printer ink. What, darling? You're not going out again, you get all muddled up. I'm sat near the treat cupboard, and that's what it is. You'll have to wait. Um, then the other thing I bought was, I needed a case for my laptop. I haven't got a case for it. And I kept looking at Amazon and places like that. And then, I don't know why, I went on the Zara website in the sale and I saw this. It's leather and it, it's like a bag, a laptop bag, but I suppose you can use it for other things. And my laptop fits really nice inside, look. And um, I suppose you could take it anyway, you know, not that I ever take it anyway, but you never know, do you? And this was reduced from £49.99 to £19.99. Well, the cases that I've been looking on on Amazon, just a little case was that. So I was really pleased with that. So that's a really good bargain, you know. And it's leather. It's really nice, you know. I feel very official with this, won't I? Right, so that's what I was, I, I've bought so far. Excuse me. The other thing, have I got time? Yes, I think so. I've got my empties bag. Um, I do want to get rid of all the things. So I'll just nick through, go through them. And then I've got a couple of YouTubers that I want to really recommend. Right. This is the Luxury Hand and Body Wash from Aldi, the Liqueur. It's the Jo Malone Dupe. Number three pomegranate. Oh, it's lovely. I really love that. Um, I think it, it's only about two pounds, something like that. Well worth it. You'll think I'm the Aldi queen here with all this. <laughs> then... It's a liqueur of vitamin C hot cloth cleanser, also from Aldi. I love this. I really do like it. I use it every night and it's vegan friendly. I think most of their products are vegan friendly nowadays. Have I got anything else from Aldi in this bag? Oh, this is the facial cream. Um, it's just a, a basic facial cream. Hardly fragrance and it's lovely, it's really nice. I can't remember how much it was. Not a lot, but it's really, I think it comes in like a blue box. It's a dupe for something, but I can't remember. Now, have I got any more already? No, I don't think I have. Oh, this is a, a sanctuary body butter that I got in, um, I think it was in like a gift set. This, I mean, they're all lovely. The sanitary products are all lovely, aren't they? I always think they smell a bit peppery, but it was nice. I, would I buy it again? Probably not, but I, I would be glad if I got it, in, you know, if somebody bought it me or something, I'd be very pleased. But I do like that, um, oh, what's it called? The Soap and Glory Body Butter, if I was buying from Boots. So that's that. Oh, this is another one from Aldi. It's, I've broken the top. It's a liqueur, a miracle oil. Now that's the dupe for the Elizabeth Arden eight hour oil. And that's very nice. So I like that. I would buy that again, yes. Right, oh, do you know I've got a lot in here. Oh, this is from Aldi and it's a gentle facial moisturizer. And that, I, think, I don't know whether that, for all skin types. That was only cheap, but I liked it. It lasted a while. Oh, my favourite, Clinique, Dramatically Different. 
Now I love this moisturising lotion, I always buy it when I go on holiday. Um, it's really, really nice. The only thing is there's no SPF in it, but I, I do like it. It's like a creamy, milky. I'm sure lots of you have used it. I think I've got through a lot, I think of a couple of months here. This was a perfume that I bought. Um, I'm, I'm a bit gullible, really. I watched this, uh, there's a lady, I can't think what she's called now. There's, um, I think it's an American lady who was like a perfume expert on, um, if I can remember a channel, I'll let you know next time. And she recommended this. I think it's a dupe for um, a Dior one or something. Can't think what it was called now. A low, it's a dupe for a low, but it was nice and it was quite reasonable. But she was talking about it, so I immediately had to go on and buy one. It was really cheap. Oh, this is a body shop. I've had this a while. What, oh, I don't know, I should have put those glasses on, shouldn't I, that I bought? A hydrating moisturiser. Moisture cream. I've gone through a lot of moisture cream. I'm, I, what I'm trying to do is I've got lots of products that I partly use, and I'm trying to use them all up to get rid of all the things, you know. So, so that's another one. That was okay. This is a, a Boots number 7 Skin Illuminator that was in some sort of gift set was nice i probably wouldn't buy it again but if i got it in another gift set i'd be very pleased it was nice i'm not too keen on too glowy a glow because i think as you get older it shows up your lines this was nice it's a hemp hand cream from um Aldi, my favorite shop <laughs> that and tk max so um that's an intense hand preserver as you can see, I've used it all. I've cut it in half, as I always do, um, to get the dregs out. That was really nice. I've got hair curler in here. I don't know what that's doing in. Um, I don't know that you can get this anymore. I used to like this a lot. It's a super great face serum, and it's from Marks & Spencer's. What range is it? The Pure range. That was, it, as I say, I've been using all the bits and bobs up. You girls behave. Uh, an Estee Lauder soft cream cleanser. I think that was in some sort of gift set. Um, that was nice, really nice. But I probably wouldn't buy it again because it would be too expensive. You know, not when I can get those good ones from Aldi. And then finally, a really lovely perfume. Oh, I'll just see if I can spray the last little dregs out. This is Charlotte Tilbury. I think my daughter bought me this. Oh, there is a little bit coming out. It's really nice. I've forgotten what it's called. Oh, something, Scent of a Dream or something it's called. Well, you can a little bit coming out. It is lovely, that. Um, And so I've used that up now. So that is all my... It's probably about two months worth, really. But as I say, I'm trying to use... I've got loads of, like, sort of used products, part used. Although I saw um, somebody put on Facebook this uh, address where you can send like partly used makeup. I'll see if I can find it for the next video. Um, you can send partially, uh, partially used makeup, lightly used, you know, palettes and stuff like that. And they, they, they send them to the women's refuges. So I thought I might parcel some up and send some off. You know, I'll have a route through. Because I've probably got loads of bits and bobs that I, I don't use anymore. You know, we all have, haven't we? So I've been prattling on a long time. But there was something else. Oh, my two YouTubers. Now, I do want to recommend these. I'll see if I can... Um... Oh, the other thing as well, I'm forgetting. I'm going to insert... I ordered my friend. It was my friend's birthday. And of course, I couldn't get out to get her a present. And um, so I ordered her some lovely sunglasses for um, a holiday. And I got them from this website. Now, I've had things from there before, Katie Loxton. And um, it was my daughter that gave me the idea, really, because I think she bought her friend some. And um, it's they do like handbags and scarves. And it, it, I think it's a British design because it says Katie Loxton, London. But it's amazing how they package them. They give you free gift bags. And what they do is they personalise them. They put the name of the person on. Now, I did take a bit of a video of it um, before I gave it to her. 
So what I'll do is I'll put, I'll try and put that in somewhere, but it's really worth, and they would personalise the gifts as well, they put like gold initials on, but I just thought I didn't want to have that done in case she didn't like them, you know, um, and then, she, you know, because she could have sent them back, because it's a funny thing, sunglasses, isn't it, it's like an individual choice, but we usually do like the same things, you know, so this video is going on very long. Right, now... The, the YouTubers that I want to recommend. Well, the first one, you probably know this lady, this girl, Becky Reynolds. I think she's called Becky Reynolds. Yeah. See if I can get her page up. Right. Oh, my notification. This is Becky Reynolds' page. She's a lovely girl, and what she does is she does a lot of plus size. Um, a lot of plus size fashion, um, lots of Shein and um, I think New Look and Yours Clothing, all that sort of thing. She gets loads of really, and she's really good at doing it. And also she's just bought a house, so she's going to be renovating the house. So that that's good. Now the other one, the other lady, is she's one of my viewers. And she, she left me a lovely comment and I thought, I'll just have a look at her because I could see that she'd got um, a YouTube channel. Now, she lives in Las Vegas, which, of course, I love Las Vegas. So, And she's called UK Girl. But the girl is spelled G-U-R-L. Now, see if I can get her up. Every time I do it, it takes me to UK Girl, G-I, and it's not. It's, it's with a U. So let me just get her up here. Right. This is the girl. And I, I honestly, I binge watched her videos last night. They were amazing. I mean, I started to watch it because um, she did one on the premium outlets, which is a shopping place we go when we go to Vegas. But honestly, um, I really enjoyed it. And she's only got 82 subscribers so we're really grateful if a lot of you will subscribe to a channel because it's hard really hard to build up a channel you know i know i'm trying to get to 2000 subscribers um which i'm so grateful for but it's amazing you know that last hundred how hard it is you know to try and get there well obviously um this girl you know i'm sure some of my subscribers would love her channel it's really good and really interesting and she's very talented, she's very artistic. Um, so I'm sure you'll enjoy watching. So just nip over to her channel and give her a like and a subscribe and um, maybe tick the notification box. You can do that for me as well if you want, if you haven't already done it. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go now. <clears throat> so bye for now. And I'll, I'll try and get back to you a little bit quicker than I have done this time. Excuse the hair, it's a mess again, I know. But I'm going to my niece's 21st tomorrow. Um, it's only like a family meal. It's nothing, uh, not a big party or anything. But I thought I'll wash my hair in the morning. Really could do with doing today. Anyway, prattling on again, aren't I? So bye for now. Oh, hiya. I just thought I'd show you this. Um, because I was ill last week uh, with the COVID, um, I did a lot of ordering online um and it's my friend's birthday as I, I told you before anyway I, I ordered Sunday um some well some sunglasses a couple of things from um a company called Katie Loxton I don't know if you've heard it it's like a British designer she does lots of handbags and things like that um and they've got a very nice website um and I just thought I'd show you this because I was really impressed with it if you order something from their website, uh, and look, I'll show you here. Wait a minute, there. The light was on it. Um, this they gift bag it free, and and what they'll do is they will uh, put the the person's name on the um, on the gift bag. Can you see? It says Sunday. I, I did it a bit wrong. I could have put a message on the first line, but I put Sunday twice. But <coughs> never mind. <laughs> Um, but I just thought I'd show you that because isn't that a lovely service? Um, I mean, just in there, there's a pair of sunglasses for our holiday. But um, 
I thought, how nice. Um, so anyway, it's just something that I thought, to, and I think you can also have whatever you buy from them. And you can, I think you can have initials put on them. Um, I didn't, but, um, in, you know, in case you wanted to change anything, but uh, you can do. So that's Katie Loxton. I'll, I'll see if I can uh, put a link to the website in the description box. I just thought it'd be nice. It's, you know, if you fancied a nice gift for someone, it, it's a really nice um, idea. It's lovely. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you in a bit.